tuning in to Black Women Heal Show with our hosts, myself. If you don't already know, if you ha- if this is the first time that you are hearing us, then you need to make sure you go back to the beginning. Start from the bottom and work your way up here. So, uh, Cheyenne, Ashley, say hello to the good people. Hey. Hey, what's going on? What's up? What's up? I'll say good morning, but I don't know if it's morning or evening. But what's right, dude, evening, something. It's five o'clock somewhere. As long as you with us. Right. So before we really get into this, we want to make sure that all of our listeners, you make sure you sign in, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube page, TikTok, Facebook. Y'all know y'all got all the social media social media apps. Just sign on. You better like it, you better share it. Get some of all of this good stuff that we got going on. So for today, whether, like Ashley said, we either listen evening, morning, or whatever. Okay. (laughs) We're going to get into this listener letter. This is the topic itself. (laughs) This letter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, y'all ready to go on and get a into whole it? Lot of oh, man. This, ooh, okay. This is a long one. This is a long one, ladies and gents. Nice. All right. So let me go ahead and roll right into it. I'm usually the one giving the advice, but since it's my situation, I can't see so clear into the reality of it all. I need the heartfelt truth from the heart and mind uh, about my man. I could stay on here for days with quite a few questions and would love to dive deep into the answers. These relationship problems have been going on for some time and I haven't talked to anyone yet. Mm. I have been in love with this guy for three years. He even moved in with me and my three older children. That's when the problem started. Three older children? Jesus. Girl... (laughs) <laughs> okay so she listed so get ready y'all number one he wasn't much of a fan of my parenting skills and made it quite clear that they didn't respect me and I needed to handle things differently like make sure that they did the dishes and that they have a cup or a plate oh and that they can't have a cup or a plate left in their bedrooms and if they do he would start to put them on their beds I don't really know what that means, but okay. Girl, that's some old school shit right there. Right? I'm like, what? Oh, you better okay. let go of them all. Listen, <laughs> listen, okay. Your ass go to bed without washing them dishes. You get woke the hell up. Shit. Oh, I mean, my mama used to do that, but we didn't call this terminology. You right. Know, I'm kind of out of the loop, but yeah, my mama didn't play that thing. She'd wake you up with the pots on your bed. Like, that's, like, that's what she Bing, 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 Okay. Get your ass up. Got you. Okay. He would put the dishes on a bit. Okay. For some reason. I'm sorry. I get that. I'm from that life. Okay. I understand. I don't do my kids like that, but I, just, uh, I get it. I get it. Okay. So my ch- okay. So my children didn't care for him too much. Their dad walked out on us. So they're not, they weren't big on another man being with their mom. It would mm-hmm. always become an argument to him anyway. I feel that he would put too much time into their behavior rather than making the foundation of a relationship first. So after nine months, Mm -hmm. he moved out saying that he couldn't take it anymore. And then he moved back home to his mom's house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ages. Now he is 46 and I am 48 years young. LOL. (laughs) He says that he hates, oh, number two. So that was number one, the, the conflict with the kids. I'm sorry for the choppy reading, y'all. I'm trying to, you know, get it together here. So I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> number two, he says that he hates to argue. And I know he came out of a relationship that they argued a lot. So when he hears something that he doesn't like, he gets frustrated. He says, I can't do this. I'm done. We won't speak for like, a day, one or three days. And then he calls me to say, I hate arguing. And when I say that's enough, just learn to quit it. So yeah, that's her number two. So number three, we stuck it out. 
though, and he says he wants a future with me. He recently, he, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. That's all right. I really like this, but this is kind of choppy. It says he recently, I want to put the word, moved over 200, I mean, 2,000 miles back to where he lived 20 years ago. His older son is there and some of his other family members. Now he oh, said the whole crew there. Okay. Right. <laughs> so he said he was going to get himself together, grow up, get a job. He wasn't working before he left and send me some send for me when things are settled. So if I would like to join him. Now he's called Wait, me every the 1900s. Time. Okay. <laughs> okay. He I will called... send for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is a hot mess. He has called. I mean, no disrespect, sis. I'm just right. trying to, you know, some of these, you know, is, it's mm. seeming to be a hot mess, but let's see where she's going with it. Okay. So he said, he, no, sorry. He has called me every day since being there, and it's been a few months now, for the last month. He asked me to come there and is really pressing me to come. He says things like, why aren't you here? I want you here like yesterday. I miss you so much. You're the one I want to wake up to every day for the rest of my life, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Send me the money. But (laughs) I also found out that he's been on a dating site. Oh, actually about 12 of them. See, mm-mm. he sounds like a narcissist to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. The same time he is telling me all of this love talk, he is on an online dating site. I went on some of the sites and found him. So I made myself a little account, okay? And went on myself to see if he would talk to me to see just what he would say. Well, ladies, he talked to me and he ended up telling his, he ended up telling his girl, me, okay, because he's talking (laughs) to me, how he had a bad relationship back home, but what a great lady I am and would never say anything bad. So I let him know (laughs) that I knew everything. Then I just didn't speak to him for two weeks. So he called to say that he was sorry and he knows I'm hurt. But he says the main problem was that I'm not there and that he wants me to come there so that he can treat me the way that I want to be treated. Mm -mm. Number four. Okay. Number three was enough to take him completely out of the game. Okay, but I'm gonna just keep going because sis <laughs> took her time to write this Ooh. letter to us. Thank you, sis. Um, oh, number four, I have a house in deep foreclosure. He says <laughs> I'm putting that ahead of him. Number five, I have two, ch- I have three children, as I mentioned before, that still depend on me. Okay. Number six, I'm still dealing with court over, with my ex over child support and arrears. Number seven, my dad lives by himself and is starting to forget everything and is grieving the loss of his wife, mom, you know. And number eight, this is far away. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just choppy, choppy I'm for me. I'm trying to do better. Okay, okay, wave, mom. Okay, right, okay, wave, mom. right, <laughs> right. Okay, so this is. Oh, well, I guess it's her dad's wife, but it's her mom. Mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry. I was with you. <laughs> it's just the way. It's the way it's written. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so let me wrap this up. Number eight. This is far away. I would be leaving everything behind and just jump on a plane. Number nine, and to top all of this off, he says, we are not together, but if I decided to go, we would be. I hope this letter isn't too hard to handle. If so, like I completely understand. Like one of my friends says, girl, you're in some pickle. Thanks for your time, ladies. (laughs) Holding it down. Okay, so 
I'm gonna let y'all. I got to get my breaths back because um, that was a hot mess of a reading. Okay. Yeah. It was real was choppy. Back. So let me um let you ladies Ooh, child. roll we out went... the red carpet with this. Okay. <laughs> we done went back to the 1900s know. and then came back to the to the up to date speed. What, what the hell? Saying? What in the back of the future? Crazy. Okay. Listen. Utter craziness. I was sitting here listening listening to this letter as you read it, and this letter screams narcissist to me. Like it mm-hmm. literally screams narcissist. Like mm-hmm. everything is centered around this man. And narcissist men have a tendency where, you know, if you do something that they don't approve of, they tend to ghost you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they have no communication as to what the issue is and how we could fix it. What they do is they'll ghost you um, mm-hmm. until you start to question yourself. You know, you might know that you personally did not do anything, but right. they will switch mm-hmm. it around and have you believe in that you did something where, especially if you're not healed and you're insecure you're going to start turning it around on yourself. Like, okay, what did I do wrong? Like, let me call him and find out what's going on. And that's what they want you to do. So that's where the ghost thing come in. To me, as far as the issue with the children, you, you've been, you've been with that man three years before you moved him in. Mm -hmm. These should have been things that you have already discovered before even moving him in. Yes, especially when they're having the children, like you said. Yes, like how do you, you know, and like she stated, um, he's too busy trying to be an authority figure rather than build a relationship because if you have kids, especially older children of a particular age, you know, they're not going to be accepting of any man coming in Mm -mm. just trying to be a father to them. And you haven't even set the groundwork to to develop any kind of relationship with them, you know, and that's a huge problem. Like you should have seen these signs before moving him into your household, especially having older children, because it's a difference when you have young children. I agree. But when you have Mm -hmm. older children, especially like teenage and up Mm -hmm. they're not going to be accepting of this so it's going to be a conflict as Mm -hmm. far as him not being their father and he's not trying to develop any kind of relationship he's just trying to come in and it's my way or the highway type of attitude it's not going to work and it's just so much to unpack here yeah it's cheating and then he wants you to pack up all and this is why i also say narcissistic vibes because he wants you to pack up everything that you know and that that's a prime trait of a narcissist they Mm -hmm. will isolate you yeah your family thing and everybody that you know if i'm not with you why am i moving all the way across yonder to be with you unless foundation and a title and we're building to go somewhere i am not picking up my entire life to move to be with somebody that so eloquently put it that we're not together Right, it's just not gonna happen. No, he's trying to isolate you. He's already showed you the type of man he is. He will ghost you. He will cheat you. He he's showing you these things. Like right. So you need it's so many red flags here, and you really need to think about if this is the man that you want to be with and you see a future with because he's going to isolate you from your family he's going to strip you of your dignity and it's going to be emotional abuse Mm -hmm. like i see it like this is this screams narcissist to me and narcissist men or women because it could be a woman too you need to run because they will emotionally damage. Drain, you. yes, drain, yeah. damage, yes. Everything sure Shayan said. It's just it's so, no lies detected. so many red flags here. It's so many. No lies detected at all. Yeah, because they, you know, Ashley, you, man, 
that letter good great because ain't there's no type of sincere love nothing i don't no. that's that's not that's that's not love mm-hmm. because love is not supposed to you're not supposed to use love as a weapon to manipulate yeah that's right um, to change a person you're supposed to accept them as they are that's so right. sis you you better run like damn forrest gump and get the hell out okay because you she going lose you she's already in that process of losing who she really is yeah because you playing catfish with the man p- p- pretending and profiling yeah. now don't get me wrong you busted him out on it but that should have been that like there should have been there would have been no more thinking because who knows who Mm-mm. else he's talking to on these others you said he got at least exactly. 12 profiles so that's enough who knows how many and that's, women and that's that- excessive what are you saying? It's extremely excessive. And it's like, if he got all those profiles and stuff like that, it's like, what other addictions does he have? Exactly. That he's getting it and getting whatever. I have a sex addiction too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because I'm like, mm, and then if he's doing this and he's meeting them and he's coming and laying with you, mm-hmm. you need to go get checked. Because right. you got a yeah, you got grown kids and stuff like that, but you know, they mm-hmm. still they still gonna need their mother. And if you get something the heebie jeebies dealing with dude, okay, what in the hell? Okay, she needs to evaluate herself too and, old. Too and old need to, to be this therapy all over the place. and figure out why it is that you're accepting this behavior because. Uh, a man could pick out certain traits in women and mm-hmm. you know he seems like he's very manipulative like Salida said mm-hmm. so he's already he's a he's already became hip to the woman that he's dealing with and he's playing you and exactly you, you don't see it but he's playing you he's playing off of your emotions because he know that you feel a certain way for him mm-hmm. so he's using and to love bomb you exactly love bombing another trait of a narcissist exactly Boom. and he knows what to say to get you back into his good graces yep every his single time at its finest finest at its worst because he's not even good Right, and if he can do, if, if, if if he he can do a, all of, he's not if he can do all mm-mm. to us looking in, but to somebody that hasn't done the work and doesn't have the self respect or anything, like you know, they have that emotional attachment. You know yeah. what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like somebody could treat right. you like trash, but because you're an empathetic person, so to right. speak, no, you're you wanna, absolutely right. You want to love love all the bad love out of them, them to death right exactly yeah <laughs> while you love. kill yourself to death mm-hmm. 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 with no damn common sense i tell you like i always say common sense is like deodorant everybody should put it on they don't and it's a superpower it, it right. really truly is it's because you know it's sad that like it's like if you could be this calculated you could do all of this why mm-hmm. not take that negative and make it into a positive and do something Man, with that? Listen. That's a certain that's that's that is first of all, number one, if you do it right, it's bankable knowledge. Mm-hmm. You get paid for that if mm-hmm. you turn a negative into a positive, be the alchemist from a negative into a positive, be something creative with it besides trying to lower the standards of another person. It's time. It's it's time to go. So there's there's too many. Like Shine said, there's too many red flags. He didn't even have to go to the third one. The, the, the first one took his ass out. So are you that insecure that you think that you're not gonna find anybody? But then you went overboard when you had to go and create a fake profile. Right. That's that's do. Mira, that's too much. <laughs> this is way too much. And I mean, it's like, uh, the girl, listen, we're going to pray for her. Lord, Father, God, Jesus, and the homeboys fix it. Yes. Because that's just, oh, geez, that, that's just way too much. Get out. Go seek, go, go seek therapy. Something. Yes, my bad, Anything. y'all. I was muted. Didn't even know. Mm. <laughs> Over here, just what? <laughs> <laughs> we like, we heard you. We heard you. We know. Okay, okay lips. 
My it's, bad. It's Cheyenne the sign language. So we, we, we good. We got right. it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> mm, right, right, this, yeah, let that go. Let it go. The Elsa shit. Let it go. <laughs> it's okay. the F it all. F it it's all. Like, because if you... It, <laughs> Seriously, because if you leave and go there, first of all, he showed a gabillion red flags for one. Yes. And then you are removing yourself from everything that you know. And you don't, it's like your gut is telling you not to. This is why you're not moving forward. It's like, you know, it's ridiculous, but the love or the feelings of whatever y'all have is like, got you, you know, kind of like you said, you the one that's usually giving an advice, but now you need the advice. Mm-hmm. And if you be giving advice, Baby girl, what you been telling them folks? Because um, <laughs> based on this thing right here, you, you need to give you, zero but, advice. But, but that's Let's the get, thing, though. Ashley, our life in order. Sometimes people always give advice, but they don't take their own advice. But that's the thing. So that's why I, I don't believe. I mean, I do believe in advice. But in general, if, if it's like giving, like if it's free, you know, I don't know. I'm real funny about advice. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it can go either. It you can don't go know either what, way. You know what I mean? And it's like my thing is, unless you've been in my shoes about this exact same situation, I probably don't want to hear what you have to say about it because you're gonna tell me what you think you would do or what you da 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 da. So I'm real mm-hmm. funny about advice, but I know a lot of people aren't, and a lot of people. But see, this but, is why, because uh, I'm not going to take advice from this situation. Boo-boo-boo. You know what I mean? It's like, there's nothing that she can tell me. And it's no disrespect to her as a person. She might can tell me a lot about science, math, cooking, but ain't she, she can tell me about a relationship. Nothing, because she ain't been able to tell herself. She knows this ain't right. That's what she wrote in. But for some reason, she's not able to rationalize it and figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that just reminded me of um, oh, it was oh, just then. right there about when you know people, like you said, can give advice but can't take it. But you know, she has yet to lack the ability. She lacks the ability to be able to have a relationship with herself first. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. everything oh. that she's, you know, areas that she's, and I look at it like this, like a like a piece of paper. You know, you can tear the paper, it's still paper, but it's torn. You can wet the paper, it's still paper, but it's wet. Mm -hmm. You can shred it, it's still paper, but it, you know, it's shredded. But there's nothing you can do to make it what it used to be. Just like crumbling up a piece of paper. So it's like, if she doesn't, and she can see a lot of what she needs to work on just by looking at what he's doing. We're forever, you know, being mirrors and picking things up from the smallest things to the biggest things, whether you notice it now or you notice it later. So therapy is going to be the best bet for her to be able to see how to navigate and start taking care of all these areas where she's having issues because the thing she has kids. What is she teaching her kids? Are she... Is she just allowing them to see how, you know, he is towards her and then that's embedded. And then when they go out, like, you know, for me right there, that's kind of creating a generational curse right there Mm -hmm. off the bat. And it can be knowingly, unknowingly, directly or indirectly, but it's going to affect someone in a a very emotionally uh, state. And, you know, when you don't heal your shit when you are a ch- go heal and deal with the stuff when you're a child then when you become an adult and you're trying to have a relationship with somebody and you're having difficulty just doing that and you're like what the then it's time you got to do some work but you got to start go back to the beginning and see okay what happened that caused me to get to this place that I am because once you can right. understand that you know don't live in the past Facts. don't live there but whatever time and point something happened, you go to that time and point, pinpoint, and then you're here and then put two to two together because one plus one equals two mm-hmm. and get to the root of the problem. Seek therapy, boo. You right. got my prayers. Because who child? Yep. I completely agree. Find self-love. Because once you love yourself, you need, first of all, you need to learn to give yourself 
the love that you so freely give to other people. I've said that before. Great you advice. Have to, you have to learn to love yourself because when you truly begin to love yourself, it's a lot of things that you will not put up with because you teach people how to treat you. So if you treat yourself with the utmost respect and kindness, when somebody comes to you in a way that is not acceptable to your soul, Mm -hmm. they're out of there. You're not going to accept it. You're not going to accept nothing that you don't accept for yourself. You know, Mm -hmm. you have to be able to love yourself and not accept other people's bullshit. Facts. You have to. That's what truly loving yourself means. You have to learn to treat, teach people how to treat you. Mm -hmm. You can't be so desperate to receive love that you accept it no matter how it's given, even when it's toxic. You have to be able to realize when somebody, and you know, you know it because like Ashley said, you wouldn't be reaching out to us. You know it, you you feel it. It tells you when something is not right. And you know, something is not right. If you felt the need to create fake profiles to catch him in the act of something, because that's your that's your gut telling you and you caught him not right exactly right. not only did that you do it but right. you caught him okay yeah. with 12 like, different what are profiles the odds that you would have been a- <laughs> exactly so yes. knowing all of this information not one not two but 12 different profiles knowing That's all of much. this you still need to question yeah, it wasn't to do i mean yeah, okay. he doesn't respect you he doesn't even consider you guys together. So why are you moving across yonder to be with this person? Okay. Because if he saw you as a, a, a candidate for a relationship, mm-hmm. he would already gave you the title and did what he was supposed to do. I'm not moving halfway across where you're at and we're not together. Yeah, and there's Thanks. no ring on the finger and stuff and whatnot. That's just asinine. Uh, to me i don't care how much you love some i don't care how much you love somebody but you want to make it as my friend says official tissue then you're going to put a ring on it if I'm otherwise gonna he's going to continue to manipulate manipulate you and turn you in into you don't even know who you are anymore yep. mm. then you're going to be looking for yourself but you can't look for you, yourself almost if you don't know did. yourself she almost 50 Yo, years old in exactly. the streets okay uh-uh yes no, sis, we right, we right, we look, we a decade behind you, but mm-mm, I'm not no, gonna be yeah. able. I couldn't do it now, let alone in ten years. Okay, because it it brings that one so, something that somebody had told me is like you know you can't expect to give someone peace if all they known all their life is chaos. Just mm-hmm. like somebody who is used to surviving doesn't know how to live. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, and in her and then looking at her case and her situation, she's looking at it as like, yeah, I love him. I need him. I need to love him in order to survive. And she doesn't want to be able to live, live on her own, like functionally, properly live on her own. It's right. like she's straddling the two fences. It's like either you're going to do A or you're going to do B because like you said, boo boo, you 50. What you, what, what's going on? Straight up. You, sound, you know. And the fact his, that you're 50, it shouldn't matter. You shouldn't be accepting anything in the name of one in love. No. Love, isn't, love don't do you like that. No. And it's just like I say, it's so many things. He's, is no, this is not, not. You might be in love, but he's not. And then I'm trying to figure out. Well, it's convenient. What, did, did he put it on you or something? Because <laughs> he lives with his mom up until this little situation. He lives with his mom. Your kids don't like him. Mm. And you know, it's something when all the kids agree, mom, we don't like him because, you know, nine times out of ten siblings, when they don't always agree on, st- <laughs> on, on stuff. Right. They one, don't. But, it it you know, might be one rooting for but him, it, but no. It could be one of those things because this is what happened in these narcissistic situations. It could be one of those things where He treated her, it's the love bombing, like Salida said. Like, he treated you good for, in the beginning. So, 
the setup. This that's the setup. That's how they reel you in. The and once they reel you, <laughs> yes, catfish. Prime <laughs> example of catfish. They reel once they reel you in, and they see that they have you wrapped around their finger. That's when they do the whole flipping switch on you. So then. You know, it becomes that abuser type situation where now you're you're stuck in what he used to do, how he used to be. So you do whatever you can to get that validation back from him. This is what happens when we seek validation outside of ourselves, because Mm -hmm. now we're putting Mm -hmm. our worth in somebody else's hands and he's Mm -hmm. he's holding it and using it to his advantage. Advantage. Oh, this is what happens when he goes. Come on with the word. This is what happens when he ghosts you because he's holding your self-worth in his hands. So he knows when he ghosts you, you're going to question yourself. And this is the problem mm-hmm. with these type of relationships. You're mm-hmm. chasing Good something. Point, Cheyenne. You're chasing something that never really existed. It was it was a facade to begin with. So you're chasing something in a person that was never really true. You know, that's how they reel you in in these relationships because they present the facade that they're Aww. just this amazing person when in actuality they feed off your energy and then they they drain you they literally drain your energy yeah yep. like a succubus and suck all the life out of you yeah and leave you completely empty soulless everything and you just- yep end up in a psych ward and like i said he gotta have some on that mental because he has nothing going for himself he doesn't have a career he doesn't like i said get along with your kids he he's on uh dating services chopping it up with heck of other chicks right. so it's just like come on like this is disgusting and it sounds like he's just gonna say whatever to whoever whenever That's and right. you just been around and stick around the longest to to take it you know what i mean so i would let him be continue to be on those dating sites stay comfortable in your hometown even though i'm all about going abroad but or you know traveling out and venturing off to the world but you're not quite in that situation you're you know a little bit older and your kids are still relying on you so you can't just be you know flinging around especially with Mm -hmm. some man that they don't even approve of and not that they have to approve but i mean come on given the shady character of this dude their approval is kind of necessary in this situation so mm-hmm. yeah that's what Definitely. i have to say um yeah this is just you know it's a mess that's why you wrote and we're confirming it's a mess and you need to clean this mess up and just find you know find another man like <laughs> no i would say not even find another man love yourself I'm not saying find another man is a- right I, I know what you yes mean. do it right. what should i say you're right love yourself <laughs> everything <laughs> okay? love yourself seek help get in alignment with who you are and what it is you need and attract the man that's meant for you that's right. <laughs> Let him exactly be a magnet, baby. Be yes. a magnet. Let him just swoop you up. Don't go yes. out here doing the swooping. You right. know what I mean? Like a lot of the times these women want to brag about bagging a man and proposing to a man and doing all these manly things. But mm-mm. and if you watch previous episodes, you know we condone none of that shit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and clearly you watch no. something to even reach out to us. So go back, re- you know, regroup, listen in a little bit and figure it yeah. out, sis. But the main and thing is you need to focus on you. Like Cheyenne said, you need to really figure out why you're so accepting of such poor treatment from someone who you're willing to consider as your partner mm-hmm. when he doesn't he's not even exhibiting you know great partner qualities Thanks. right because even that little line about how he gets upset and leaves for one to three Roasted. days and then says well you just need to be quiet because you no. know i don't like to argue i would have been like scooby and shaggy that's like him, this right that's him like who you talking to the hell you talking to and obviously she's doing it because if not they wouldn't even have made it past that part 
Right. So and obviously, you know, and, that that's training her into the behaviors that's acceptable. So she know exactly. not to bring up certain topics because if you bring these topics to me, um, I'm going to ghost you and leave you for a couple of days. And be with her. Exactly. Be with because the it, girl. Now it's this. easier to be with her because now I, it looks like for one to three days, you didn't got on my damn nerves. But exactly. what the truth is, for one to three days, I got to go repair my exactly. other relationship and keep that shit intact. Exactly. Okay? I'll talk be back. About, so he know you been got level-headed, okay? Woo. He knows she didn't got level-headed about the situation or whatever. And he's like, yep, I can come back home in that one to three day time span and go check mm-hmm. on my other side pieces or main pieces or whatever kind of pieces it is because you really Late. lenient. You're very lenient in the situation, and he's taking full advantage of his sis. Yeah, like right. he depended on talking about going to see one of the, the 12 disciples. Yeah, one, one of the chicks from the profiles. Don't follow them. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm, I think he would have been got on, but he can't find no one like you to c- continuously lie to and accept his stuff. So he just keeps you around. That's no, what I think. Uh, but you know, in those type of relationships, they always have like their main chick, their main energy, energy source. And yep. then they have all mm-hmm. these other women. You Hence know, the 12 different profiles. Exactly. exactly. And I'm sure he had them profiles while he was in y'all city. It's just, you looked them up while he was in whatever city he's in. So mm-hmm. the truth of the matter is he didn't just create 10 profiles like that's real thirsty that he been planned. had them he had them while he was at your crib when he was taking them one to three days he was all creating another profile okay <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't keep a straight face in, but I, if i tried <laughs> he get so, i gotta get it busted down like right. once he i get started around. thinking about it yeah that's, he's tell you, this is, that's just okay. busted and disgusted good and god man. that's exactly that's the Woo. good point though ashley like that's exactly what he's doing mm-hmm. when he's ghosting you for all them days trust and believe he's, he's connecting somewhere else else okay and now he's like, okay. Then then he's gonna say, Well, you know I don't like it, so be quiet. Exactly. Train meanwhile, he's making somebody else holler while exactly. he's telling you to be quiet. <laughs> Facts. That's real, real shit though. Real talk. Like good night. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Baby. You need to get on that same look. Do what Cheyenne said. But <laughs> after you do all that, you need to get on there too and swipe left, right, right. up, down. I don't know. <laughs> heart, heart, heart. Or maybe no, no. instead of catfishing, put your real pros that file up with your face and shit. Let them see. Mm-hmm. Let them see. You want to see the and real don't you. even tell them. Don't say, oh, yeah, I have a profile up there too. No, he's thirsty. This is another proof that he's still doing it because even if he doesn't like accept you because he already knows it's, you're his girl. He's going to bring it to your attention. Like, what the hell are you doing on there? I right. saw you on there. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, how you see me on there? What the hell are you still right. doing on there? Huh? I thought I might join you since it's such a fun place to be. <laughs> girl, I can't. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, y'all. I mean, oh, girl. This is a hot mess, okay? Yeah, because you know it's wrong, right? And you know, like we had y'all had said it before, especially with the catfish, and it's like taking it to a whole, a whole nother level because then you're looking at like the different aspects of it, not just something that we, you know, social media and all this stuff cat, you know, catfish. It is something mm-hmm. that's very popular, like just like the dag on show. It, we we've all seen it, and we're like, what the. <laughs> like right. this it's like they they but i gotta give to give it to people that actually do like the catfish and even if they like bullshitting themselves and stuff they get they some creative motherfuckers mm-hmm. though Listen, ain't that much, they will they work up the land. Damn people, this is disgusting. Ain't that like, much creativity in the world? Okay, Sometimes them people these disgusting. stories, and it's just dumb. Like, come on. Yes, like, like my, seriously. My daughter and I, we was like two, three weeks ago. We caught like a, a marathon of them, so we wasn't like <laughs> watching it. Watch, I think I was doing her nails or something, and it was on and. 
We'll just say Jorge. Girl, stuff is just ridiculous. Jorge on catfish. You give my child nightmares, okay? Uh, <laughs> I can't. Oh, God. It's oh, just she nice. randomly comes around the house and she's just like, Jorge. <laughs> shakes good. head, puts her head down, shakes head. I don't even like, want to know. I'm traumatized for life because of Jorge. I don't so, even Jorge, want to know. You know what you did. You was on the show. I'm not putting you on blast. You put your own ass on blast by <laughs> signing on the dotted line <laughs> and being on the catfish. I can't. You had traumatized my child. Okay. <laughs> she just traumatized my like, child. Every other day, she's just like, Jorge, oh, I'm so traumatized. <laughs> That's I can't. Mess. Merch. I can't <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> it's a bumper sticker. It's a stick. It's something. What's wrong? Right. Jorge. Jorge. That's a mess. <laughs> a whole entire mess. Jorge. 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 I can't. For all of I'm my back. brothers and sisters, it's George in English. Jorge in Spanish. <laughs> Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> on catfish hot mess okay so yeah back to i don't know how we got up on the catfish channel Girl, another one bites the dust okay <laughs> i think yeah. right i think we didn't beat the dead horse out of this yes you need to yeah. leave end of story period boop that's it hey, get out look <laughs> right Pull a fresh prince of jazz out the door right <laughs> <laughs> Right up, and he already threw himself two thousand miles away, girl. Right. That's a blessing. Right. Yeah, that's the so easy look, one because he already okay. gone, out of sight, out of mind. Because you and don't forget to leave when sight, you're going. Mind. Okay, so, yeah. So like okay. y'all said, we done beat this one <laughs> to death. Yes. Boop boop boop. So yeah, y'all know how to find us. Keep them letters coming. Black Women Heal Pod at gmail.com. Keep the letters coming. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And don't forget to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that button. Follow us on on TikTok, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe. Subscribe. Come, Come and talk to us. Yes, keep that engagement coming. Yeah, love it. So oh, shout you. out! Oh, this ain't the place. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs>